Hey you right guys, Trophy Reacts here and today we are watching and reacting to another episode of Heartstopper just getting through the season. I'm really enjoying it so I kind of don't want to stop but uh, yeah episode 4 I thought was really good with the kind of split of having Nick in the first half like his perspective on everything that was going on and then Charlie's perspective for the second half of the episode. I thought they did a really really good job of that so yeah episode 5 if you enjoy make sure to leave a like as it does help the video and it does help the channel and Patreon is linked down below if you do want to join us over on there will be an episode or two ahead but for now let's do this. Tori! Oh, she's become one of my favourites this season. I think this season I prefer her to Al and Tao and Darcy and Tara actually. I still really like this character, so I just feel like I like what they're doing with her. I like that she's very subtly just looking out for her brother. <laughs> it's cute. I'll say subtly, like she's not literally snuck in in the mornings getting to bed with him, but whatever. <laughs> I only slept for like two hours. So, what are you worried about today? What's today? Thinking about what presents I'm going to get. Oh, is it Christmas? I hope I get a soul. Mm. I hope we get good mental health. Um. I hope we get a mum who can regulate her emotions. I hope we get grandparents who don't comment on my way. <laughs> I hope dad remembers to properly season the turkey. Oof, yeah, yeah. That won't happen. Yeah, that's the one thing out of all those you're probably not going to get. Merry Christmas. Christmas episode. Merry Christmas. You know what, we're in October. I'll, I'll allow it, I'll allow it. I like that they actually show the game and like they're moving like they're actually playing the game. Don't take too long because everyone will be arriving soon. Who comes over on bloody Christmas? That's for Boxing Day, man. <laughs> Say that like everyone, whatever. And yet she still invites them every Christmas. Yeah. I mean, everyone comes over on Christmas. Oh, at least Hayley Alvarez here. I'll allow it. Oh, okay, we're just... <laughs> oh, right there. This is at his house. They got a new dog. They got a pug. See, pugs are cute, but they ain't no, they ain't no Pomeranians. Top tier dog, Pomeranian. Am I biased? Absolutely. If he gets too much, there's a little guy here who needs hugs. Mm. By little guy who needs hugs, I did mean Henry. That weird, actually, yeah. that applies to me as well, so. Well, you ain't a little guy, Nick, but sure. You're still looking a bit skinny, aren't you? Okay. You're getting all that mess sorted out. <laughs> oh, I relate to that so much. <laughs> That's just throwing me back, bro. <laughs> Uh, where's the muscle on your bones, Joe? Oh, so, God. What did you get for Christmas? I got some socks and shoes. Some socks and shoes. Oh, dear. We can always try the breathing exercises that he suggested. You know, the, I'm fine. Oh, well, that's trying to help. <laughs> oh, food. Pigs in blankets, goated, and Yorkshire puddings. What about you, Tori? Any lovely men in your life? No. <laughs> no. Charlie, when did you realise you were gay? Okay. How's everyone doing down here? I'm fine. We're fine. Okay. <laughs> She's gone in the other direction now. She's getting too involved. <laughs> She's just being a worried mom. She's just worried. Can't I just try and have a normal... Yeah, I guess now he feels like all eyes are on him just because uh, everyone knows now. Oh, I forgot about his penis brother, man. I actually blocked him out of his mind. Out of my mind. He always says he's going to pop in and he never does. Stop acting like you know everything. Stop acting like you know everything, brother. Mentally deranged, you've been acting like you're the saviour okay. of the earth. Don't say that about Charlie. I mean, I get it. Like, he wants attention. He stops eating. You have to be the hero who says... Oh my god, punch this guy in the face. The fuck up. Oh! I knew you'd act like this, Nicholas. Father was right about you! Nob. He's somehow worse than Draco Raffle because that guy's like 27 acting like that. Now come and use those big strong muscles to help me move the table. At least she's got a gran. A gran's kind of cute. See, I don't hate all old people in all shows. I've just proven that fact right here, right now. Sometimes one in every 20 is actually all right. Who is, why do we have this character? I'm so confused. No, no, no offense, but like, they haven't done anything with them. I don't even know the name. I genuinely can't remember. Sahara or something. 
Maybe they're not trying to make them much of a character yet. They're just kind of there, and maybe they'll focus on them more. But it's like, also, I kind of don't really want to, <laughs> if we do. I'm glad that these two are chilled out a bit now. <laughs> they're just being cute instead of, I won't say annoying. They were never annoying, but... I'm talking about this season specifically, not season one or two. Yeah, we went for the boob grab. What are we doing? Uh, sorry, was that... Was that... Um... Sorry. It's fine. Should we go for a walk? Oof. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Feel a lot about to start on a, an L storyline. It's a relief you could come back for Christmas, isn't it? I can't imagine what Christmas would be like in a place like that. No, oh, why not? You just hear horror stories, don't you? Yeah. Uh, White straight jack. No, no, that's not where you are. Please. Crazy in there. You're not supposed to say that. He wasn't in a bloody psych ward, bro! Back to normal, back with us. Back to normal, not the words. <laughs> this Ugh. seems great, as if nothing ever happened. Anyway, it's a 40 I don't like to watch the fuck here. Just like, it's so useless. <laughs> not everybody understands what you've been dealing with. So I just have to put up with ignorant comments from my own family. We just need to get through the day. Yeah, I get, there's a, like, people who don't understand it, but like, are trying to understand it. To people who don't understand it, you're just an idiot. You only managed half your dinner, and, and the dietitian said that that's... A you're not helping. Oh, yeah. You're making me feel worse. Fine. Well, I'm, I'm sorry I even tried. She is trying, but, like, it's just not... Yeah. I'm going to Nick's. You can't abandon Tori. Please don't. No, Tori! Can't you at least spend Christmas with me? Come on. You spend all your time with Nick anyway. Because he treats me as something other than mentally ill. So does she. I do too. Yeah, I'm back in Tory on this. Sorry, see you later. Bro! No. She could have joined, no? Hey. Oh hey. no, and I was walked into the house with the brother in. What's his name? Oh, it starts with a T or something. I think it's like Twat. I can't remember, it's one of them. Twat or Tosser. No, Team Tory, let's go. I know they're having their cute little kiss moment right now. Oh, that's Hayley Alwell. You coming in? We don't bite. Promise. If Hayley Alwell wants to bite, I will allow it. Just saying. I'm speaking for everyone when I say that as well. So Sorry to interrupt the video here, guys. It's just a reminder that we don't take any sponsors on this channel. So this is just kind of sponsored by me. And it's just a short, quick reminder to let you guys know that if you do want to join us over on Patreon, the link will be in the description and the pinned comment down below. You can join us over on there for free to get certain posts or you can join us for a certain pledge and you can get the early and uncut reactions to pretty much all the shows that I do. Or as another option, you can click the join button under the video. And for just $2 a month, you can get loyalty badges, early access to new videos, and priority reply to all comments. Appreciate you guys so much for watching. Now back to the video, whatever video that might be. Okay, all done. That was rapid. Speed ran that. What's feel like they're in like some sure don't little about. shed? I just want to have a nice day. Day is bloody night. It's like 8 p.m. Actually, to be fair, let's do that then. It's actually kind of still night. It was dark when he left though. Is it the next day? No, because his hair's still wet. Oh yeah, Henry. Henry the Hoover. <laughs> Pugs are funny though. <laughs> oh, Toast. They, they make Toast look so good. I mean, Toast is goated, don't get me wrong. But whoever's like the Toast prop person on this show, they're making me want Toast. Yo, the Pugs locked in. They're definitely watching Coronation Street. Yep, but I oh don't know Doctor Who. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually vaguely remember this episode. I feel like I remember that episode. What the hell? That's throwing me back. I love that they showed the David Tennant one. <laughs> That's so cool. We are going to react to Doctor Who at some point, by the way. Move! Did he text you? Dad? No. You know you got a real family who actually want to hang out with you. There we go. Your dad is family. I think family are the people who actually give a shit. Hey, is that Tori? Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh yeah, she called him out last season. Twat, bye mate. You left me okay. to fend for myself against our cousins. <laughs> Look at every bro, he's so locked in. Mario Kart with him. And I think mum might be willing to apologise. As wild as that sounds. <laughs> How do people prefer? How do people just not like dog? Whatever. I worry about you all the time. Look at it. 
Sorry, I know I get that you're scared there. of being a burden. It's always New Year's Eve. It was always New Year's Eve. You still got Boxing Day as well. Hey, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little dog wants attention. I think about it, like all the time. Not all the time. All the time. A respectful amount of time that one thinks about one's girlfriend in that way. I'm just gonna stop Tell. talking. <laughs> I also want to do things. It's just more complicated for me. I am trans, and it's a big part of me. Yeah, I guess they're not opening up a new storyline. It's just their, you know, part of the story. They kind of that we've not delved into yet. Made me feel like my body wasn't my body. Like. I wasn't there at all. I'm sorry. God, the difference in writing for like this show compared to like Pril or Lies Original Sin or something. <laughs> I think my dad brought that up. He sent a message to me and he's like, compared to like Pril or Lies Original Sin, the script is just. I love everything about you. And whatever you want to do or not do, it's okay. I still want to be with you. Yes, tattle my boy. I only bring up that show as a comparison, by the way, because that show tried to tackle a lot of stuff that this show is as well, but just done so poorly <laughs> that none of it stuck, and it felt very, like, preachy and just not... It, none of it stuck. Whereas this, like, the dialogue they're going, it's like... Like I said before, doesn't feel preachy. They are doing a lot with a lot of characters, for sure, but... And we do have a lot going on, but it all feels like it's... It has a point being there. <laughs> They're not just throwing it in there for the sake of it. Self-harm, yep, throw that one in there. Body dysmorphia, yep, throw that one on the wall. Uh, suicide, yep, get that one on the wall as well. That's what Pretty Lies Original Sin felt like. Which got cancelled, by the way. Rest in peace. Stop it! I'm in second place! You're bloody have you? Get locked in, bro! Second place! Come on, buddy. Everyone's getting so big already! <laughs> Ready? Oh. <laughs> Bugs are so dumb, like, what do they think about? We're going to a New Year's party. Is Isaac pretend- is that Isaac? No, it wasn't. It didn't look like Isaac. Someone was definitely pretending to drink there, though. So my art keeps going, like, viral. 20k! What year are they going into? Like, 2025? Do we actually know when this is set? Not that it really matters. I assume just, like, 2024, 25. I've just got to go. I'm sorry. What just happened? What was that about? How are you? I'm alright. Let's start. Let's do it. Oof. Sacked off. I'm sure off school for so long. Oh, morning. Sorry, mate. We were actually just going to go head outside. But see you later. Well, right. Yeah, I guess like so many people still don't know and would just ask, <laughs> where have you been? I was in Ibiza for two months. Now what? Oh, well, they got the animation sparks. GG's. Oh, man. <laughs> I'll be one whole vodka bottle. Me and Tao. We want to have sex. You don't seem that happy about that. I am. But it's a big deal. I mean, what if he touches Can't me? That's a big deal, yeah. And I just freak out. You trust him, and he loves you, and if anything goes wrong, I'll be here for you, and he'll be there for you. I wish we saw a bit more of Elle with her friends, like, at the school. We had the first day at school, and then we didn't see them for ages. I guess last step, though, was about Charlie and Nick, so it feels like now they're ready to focus on the side characters a bit more. Or not in their first big argument will be. I'm really glad you're back. Maybe season four, they'll have the big falling out. No breakup. We don't need a breakup with these two. Don't even bother trying that shit. Like, we literally just don't need that. <laughs> How's your night? Mm, better than Christmas. Mm. That's a pretty low bar. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. Still, managed a whole night out without a breakdown, so therapy must be doing something, right? Maybe it is. Praise be to Jeff. Tory, top three characters, dare I say it. Nick at number one. Tory, Charlie? Almost midnight! Make sure you got some- RAWFOY! <laughs> the ultimate bellend! Fireworks. <laughs> I didn't write him out after all. <laughs> I can't believe he just cropped up. I wanted to apologise for Halloween. I was being so toxic. Oh. I love Imogen. She's like trying to do the right thing, but- <laughs> I fur image into this character, honestly. I don't ship them either. 
at all. Just saying. I don't want to be just an experiment to you. I do see where she's coming from, though. Hundred percent. You're the reason I realised I was buying the first place. Ooh. And he tells me that I'm pretty, but he don't see me as a need. <laughs> the log. Yes, we're doing a romance for Tori. Oh my god. And every picture that you Say no more. Oh my god, they're actually doing it. Yes. Bro, I'm hyped. I, uh, <laughs> don't worry, I'm not here to kiss you, eh? <laughs> just don't want to be alone at midnight. <laughs> I love those two as well. All the characters are so good. It's one of the few shows, they, we do have a few, where I actually like every character, minus like, obviously, like, Nick's brother, like, the ones you're not meant to like. Oh, oh. Sure, why not? Oh, are we going? Oh, okay! Damn! Ah, uh, with the fireworks, yeah, 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 GG's. They have to just, like, take... They, we have to kiss in the rain, the kiss in the spotlight, the kiss in the fireworks, kiss on the front door, it's just... Oh, I love Tori. Ah, we got the slurp in there! They knew! They knew they had to get the slurp in there, bro. It's back, it's back with a vengeance, oh my god. I never thought I'd say that Tori is, like, my second favourite character. I did not care at all about Tor in season one. I, I couldn't care less. Season two, she was a lot better. In season three, they've done such an amazing job with the character. Yeah, someone on track said, finally some happiness after a lot of sadness. I felt like we needed this. <laughs> it's like that cliche. Oh, I needed this. We, we, but genuinely, we did actually need this episode because, oh, God. I mean, like I say, the last four episodes have been amazing, but it was good that we just had an episode where, not everything, but for the most part, everyone was... Good, especially the ending. I'm going... I don't... I, no, 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 no. I was thinking maybe 10. I was thinking maybe a 10 out of 10 for that episode, but... Let me think. Let me lock in for a second. All right, let's just go through... Right, Tori, amazing. Loved her. Uh, Charlie, like, the Christmas stuff, like, Charlie kind of dealing with his family and is still showing, like, again... Like the old guy, he's not saying things trying to be a twat. He's just saying the wrong thing because he's just oblivious. And that's, I think that's why typically I just don't like old people in, well, ever. But no, no, I'm joking. But in TV shows, they are like that typical kind of, I guess he's a little bit different. You just have the old guys who are either racist or they're just always saying the wrong thing. You never get like an old person in TV shows who is actually just kind of sweet. But we do have that. We I guess Darcy's grand. That's what I said. I liked her. She's just kind of nice. Um, but again, the old guy is not trying to be a dickhead, I get it, but he's just not quite saying the right thing. And then the mom, she's not trying to be a nuisance in her head, she's like being really helpful and supportive, but she's just kind of doing a bit too much. Whereas like Nick's obviously done the research and uh, I think that's all they need to do with the mom is just sit down and kind of tell her like this is how you can actually help, like you're being a bit overbearing <laughs> in certain situations. Um, like my mom definitely was back in the day kind of with certain things, it was like checking on me like exactly what I'm eating and uh just like when you are eating you just feel like eyes on you checking on how much you are actually taking in and it's like oh my god you're doing a bit too much but uh <laughs> like I say you know they're not doing it to they, they don't think they're doing it that way they just think they're being really supportive which they are you know we get it they are they were super, super supportive but yeah I think they just need to sit down and tell them this is how we can just alter it maybe a little bit um then we got a pug in there called Henry, which is kind of cute, so we like Henry. Um, that'd be kind of bad. I like that Tori ended up joining them for Christmas at the end as well. And then we had the New Year's party. The stuff going on with Alan Tao, I think is quite interesting. It seems they hinted at that maybe they had sex there at the end. We'll see if that kind of, what kind of gets brought up there. Um, maybe a possible Tory romance. I mean, definitely. They, they kind of very heavily hinted at that this episode. He seems kind of, you know, he seems like he's got a nice face as well. So we'll see what kind of goes on there. And he shouldn't turn around and look and it was like Draco Rafoy or like <laughs> Nick's brother or something, something like that. So hopefully that guy ends up being all right. We'll see. Um, I'd say the only romance I'm not super into, if I have to be honest, is what they're trying to set up here with Imogen and Zahar, Zara, whatever their name is. Um... Like I say, I'm open mind. Like, if they end up being a really good character, they end up being a really good character. But how I feel about them right now is just, I, I don't know, I'm not connected with that character too much. They're just kind of there for me. And maybe they are meant to just be there, but if they are actually trying to make them, like, 
an interesting character. They're not doing a very good job at the moment. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. There's still a few three episodes left, which feels far too short. But there are three episodes left. So, yeah, I'll, I'm not going to quite go in a ten. I think that's a little bit high. But I'm going to go a nine point two out of ten. I think this is another exceptional episode. Maybe my favorite alongside episode three. I think that episode three had the more like emotional side of things, but this one was just, it felt like it came at the perfect time where everything's just happy and like the storylines are firing off and all the romances are going off. And like say that, that Tory romance, I'm in, I'm in, I'm into it. Let's go. <laughs> Nothing's happened, but I'm invested. All right. Thanks for watching guys. I'm actually going to watch episode six as well. Cause I just I need to watch more. So I'll see you next time for episode six until then. Take care. Peace.